Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about difference between DOM parser and SAX parser. Parsers are fundamental XML components, a bridge between XML documents and applications that process the XML file. The parser is responsible for handling XML syntax, checking the contents of the document against a schema. Application SAX parser or DOM parser. So you have a SAX or DOM parser. You have you will give you will be giving a DDDR schema. So you, if you have an XML file, so this helps the helps the helps to convert these XML documents into Java objects in our application. So you don't have to do from the scratch. There are some APIs. That's what SAX and DOM parser does. So in our application, if you want to read XML files, you can hand over the responsibility to SAX and DOM parser. Using the DDT, they will do it for you. So let's see the differences and advantages. DOM parser, it is a tree of nodes, whereas here, sequence of events. Memory occupies more memory preferred for small documents. Actually, DOM parser loads a complete document immediately into the memory, whereas here, it uh, doesn't use any memory preferred for larger documents slow at runtime this is faster at runtime so these are the two advantages where sax parser is preferred over dom parser stored as objects objects are are to be created programmatically easy since objects need to write code for creating the objects it is easy for na navigation if you take the dom parser it is easy for navigation in sax parser backward nav navigation is not possible as it sequentially process the document so in the market, SAX parser is more preferred because faster and does not use much memory, and it depends on the events actually. So it goes to the each uh, each node, and it'll it'll have a callback function. It is we can then create the objects. So this these are the difference between SAX and DOM parser. So just want to repeat, SAX and DOM parser is a, a uh, open source libraries. It'll it'll take the responsibility to convert XML to Java objects. It will help you to create objects from the XML documents. You don't have to write from the scratch. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.